Hi, we're back again today talking about high pressure oil leaks on 6 liter Ford Power Stroke. Uh, I have the high pressure manifold off of one of the cylinder heads here. Uh, we've previously talked about standpipes and dummy plugs and the 10 potential leaks there. So we're going to move on to the other side of the manifold now and we're going to look at the ball tubes. There are four ball tubes on each manifold. Each of these ball tubes will insert into each of the in individual injectors. The O-rings that are underneath get overlooked very commonly. Uh, in order to test these, uh, the only real test it would be to pressure test them uh, and it, it's pretty difficult to do because these are going to be underneath the manifold, it'll be hard to see them. As a rule of thumb, when you take a manifold off and you grab the ball tube and it doesn't move, you've probably got a pretty good chance that that O-ring is still in good shape. But like these, when I can take these and rattle these back and forth pretty easily, I would suggest strongly that those O-rings be replaced. It's a pretty easy process. O-rings are sold in a set of four. The ball tubes are also sold individually. Uh, however, being a hardened steel, uh, they're not a real high wear item. Uh, occasionally because of grit buildup in the top of the injector, somebody hasn't changed the oil regularly, uh, it could cause a scar on the seat and you may want to replace the ball tube. But normally simply wiping them down with a rag, making sure they're clean. Using the special socket, you can go in, put that in, remove the retaining nut, and out comes the ball tube and the O-ring that resides inside. So simply by taking the four ball tubes out, putting a set of O-rings in each manifold, and putting them back together again, you've eliminated eight more potential leaks of that high pressure oil system on this six liter Ford Power Stroke.